Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, hello, hello, hello to you. <laughs> Hi and good morning friends, it's me, Lady Long, and welcome to The Rug. Today we're going to have so much fun playing and learning together. But before we do, let's put on everything we need to start our day. Are you ready? Let's put on our thinking caps. We're ready to think and learn. Show me your thinking faces. Hmm. <laughs> Let's put on our looking eyes. Boop, boop, boop. We always stop and look at who's teaching. Let's put on our listening ears. Click, click. <laughs> we always listen and make good choices. Let's put on our calm bodies. <laughs> we keep our bodies nice and still on the rug. Let's put on our kind hands. Show me your gentle touch. We use our hands to help others. Let's put on our kind words. Yeah, we use our words to be kind to others. We say things like, hi, I miss you and I love you. <laughs> Let's put on our inside voices. We use our inside voices when we're talking to one another. We have everything we need to get started. Let's look at the board and see what we're gonna learn today. Friends, I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's sing the color song together so we can learn about a brand new color today. You ready? Help me sing. Blue, red, yellow, and pink. Orange, green, and purple. Blue, red, yellow, and pink. Orange, green, and purple. These are some colors that we see every day. Blue, red, yellow, and pink. Orange, green, and purple. Friends, let's take a look up at the board and see what new color we'll be learning about today. Ooh, wow. This is a very unique color. That means it's different. And you don't see this color on everything. This is the color gray. <laughs> gray. There are some great things that I found in my classroom. Let's take a look on the rug and see some of the great items that I found. Friends, let's take a look and see some of the great items that I have here in my classroom. I have here this gray elephant. <laughs> look how big he is. Ooh, I have here a gray marker. I love markers. They're so wonderful to use in your crafts. Here's another item that's good for crafting. My paint stick, and a great one at that. My friends know how much I love my paint sticks. I also have a gray hippopotamus. <laughs> she has a big wide mouth and her body's gray all over. <laughs> Here's some of the great items that I have in my classroom. Take a look around your home friends and see some of the great things you can find. Gray, our super cool color of the day. Okay, friends, it's time for us to learn about our brand new letter of the day. Take a look up at the board with me and let's see what it is. Look who's come to join us. It's uppercase E or big E. Let's use our big voices to say hello. Hi, big E. <laughs> And look who's joined us. It's lowercase e or little e. Let's use our little bitty voices to say hello. 
Hi, little E. <laughs> e is an excellent letter. And it's a vowel. It makes two different sounds. The E makes the E sound. It also makes the E, E, E sound. <laughs> I have here some E words in my basket. Let's take a look on the rug and find out what they are. Okay, friends, let's take a look in our basket and see what E words we have today. E for egg. Mmm, these eggs are sunny side up. I like scrambled eggs too. E is also for eagle. Eagles, they fly high and soar in the sky. And they're also really big birds. Here's another animal that starts with E. E for elephant. <laughs> I love how long elephants' trunks are. Oh, here's something really useful. E is for envelope. Yeah, we use envelopes to put in our mail and send it wherever we want. And E is for this special number, E11. 11 is the number after 10. 11, envelope, elephant, eagle, egg. <laughs> These are our excellent E words for today. E, our letter of the day. Friends, are you ready to find out what our new shape of the day is going to be? Let's take a look at the board and find out what it could be together. Friends, look at this cool shape. It's three-dimensional, meaning that it's not flat. You can actually pick it up. Do you know what shape this is? It's a cone, friends. Yeah, a cone. Can you say that with me? Cone. Cone like the shape of an ice cream cone. Or cone like a traffic cone. Yeah, traffic cones are very helpful when they're doing construction or work on the road. And it helps the cars to see so that there won't be any accidents. Cone, what a cool shape of the day. Friends, it's time now for the number of the day. Day, day. <laughs> Let's take a look up at the board and find out what our number of the day is going to be. Wow, friends, this is a really large number. Written down with a two and a zero. Do you know what number this is? Yeah, it's the number 20. <laughs> 20. And look, there are some traffic cones up on the board. Let's count them together. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <laughs> you did it, friends. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Twenty traffic cones and twenty, our number of the day. Friends, I had so much fun on the rug with you. <laughs> Today, we learned about our color of the day. We even learned about our letter of the day. <laughs> we 
we learned about our shape of the day. And we had our super cool number of the day, day. <laughs> I had so much fun, but now it's time for us to say goodbye until next time. Can you help me sing the goodbye song? Now it's time to say goodbye. I had such fun today. Hope to see you once again so we can learn and play. <laughs> Hi friends. I had so much fun with you on the rug today. To my grown-ups watching, please be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Until next time, happy learning.